welcome to vlog 94. This vlog is all about entrepreneurial spirit. And the spirit I lost five years ago, but I trained myself. I told myself every morning, I am an entrepreneur, I am a creator, I will be successful again. And one of the key lessons is proximity. So that's why I want to show you Porto Montenegro. Since I have to solve 1.5 million, I have some work to do and what a better way to do it over here. So, and if you want to be successful in business, you have to surround yourself with successful people. And what a better place to start and find successful people than here in one of the best marinas in the Mediterranean and in five-star hotels. So let me show you around here in Porto Martinique. I did many business deals in five-star hotels and I remember when I sold one of my companies for a couple of millions, um, it was just during one night. This business partner, he invited me for dinner and then he just asked me the question, Gerwin, I just want to buy your company, please tell me the price. So I really feel that entrepreneurial spirit over here and that something will happen over here because the history of Puerto Montenegro is amazing. And can you imagine that just 15 years ago, there was really nothing over here. It was just an old naval shipyard. And now you can see it's not just a marina. So over here you can see the five star Regent Hotel. And here they have all the, um, the fashion shops with all the big brands like Balmain, Alexander McQueen, Valentino. And I know that Dior is opening soon over here. And the aim of Porto Montenegro is to become the new Monaco. And if you look at all the iconic super yachts over here, so you can see the, the motor yachts, but the most iconic is of course the, the Black Pearl, as we mentioned multiple times before. But yeah, when I just see the three masts, then man, this, uh, this is still something special every day. And it's a pleasure to wake up here every morning. Um, but it's not only super yachts over here. So you can berth here with just a normal, boat they start from six meters up to i think more than 100 because i think the um, the black pearl is around 120 or something um but there are also liverboards over here we met some people on instagram we are following each other and we just met them and maybe i can have a look if they are around over here and yeah what you can see is here So it's a nice mixture of people and boats uh, from liverboards to let's say billionaires. Everything is mixing up. And that's also the beauty of Puerto Montenegro because it's not completely locked. So what you see, it's a part, it's like a neighborhood of Tivat. It was the village um, and it's mixing up. So people from Tivat are walking around here. So everything is mixing and just that gives a nice energy. And that's, uh, 
Yeah, I didn't expect that. My first thought about Porto Montenegro was really, let's say, very high end. And it is very high end. It's just a nice place. So this is the map. So we've got a helipad, we've got an international school. We've got here the Regent Hotel, here the residential retail village, the marina office, all the facilities, and we are berthed, let's see, D15. D15, we are berthed over here. For us, the first time when we came here in Puerto Montenegro or in Montenegro, we the first time was with the with the Land Rover when we just crossed it and we didn't know what to expect. Uh, we never heard about Montenegro, and then we came with the boat and it was for us the purpose to uh, to fuel up because you can fuel up here tax free. And that's uh, yeah, I think one of the reasons why also all the big super yachts are over here. So that saves 45 percent because it's uh, outside outside the European Union and but if you fuel up you have to leave uh, the country let's say immediately because you can't use the tax-free fuel here in Montenegro and can you imagine when we dropped here for the, for the first time for the first time uh, we dropped anchor I came in with the dinghy and I just asked this marinero about What's the price here in Montenegro and what's the price for staying one one night? And now just after six months? Yeah, after six months. After six months, we see each other and we recognize. And he recognized me <laughs> as just a guy coming with the dinghy. So <laughs> I think this is the beauty of Puerto Montenegro. So thank you. Ah, you're welcome. Yeah, how, how, long do you pleasure, yeah. how long do you work here for Puerto Montenegro? Uh, 10 years. 10, 10 years already? Yeah, it passed just 10 years. Then. Wow, so you are really from the beginning. No, almost. I think almost before the beginning, I start to work like skipper. Now I'm marine. Yeah, because As assistant dock supervisor. Assistant dock supervisor. So Ma you will meet me here if you come in Montenegro. Port Montenegro. You should. You should. So I'm just yeah, pausing, and I say, "Hey, you're you're a Dutchman. So let's have a beer." So local beer. But it's all from Heineken, I just heard. But walking around and I just met René. He's from Holland, he's from Rotterdam and he's inviting me to, uh, to have a look at this motor yacht. Marine. Northern Marine. Great. you call a real engine room with everything I just had a complete tour of all the mechanics and the engines and they have three generators and one generator is as big as ours but it's just using for uh, oh, it's getting a little bit dark so let me get up but it's uh, yeah it's amazing to see Okay, René, thank you very much. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. And this is a perfect example how things are happening. I'm just passing by, he says, hey, you're Dutch, let's have a beer. And I got a perfect tour on this beautiful ship. When you are in an environment like this, you meet interesting people.
this is the Black Pearl. It's magic to walk this close by. So the history of Mon uh, Puerto Montenegro, I will tell you tomorrow. So good morning, new day, new challenges, new opportunities. So now I'm taking you with me to where everything started. So everything started in 2007 when a Canadian visionaire called Peter Monk decided to purchase the former Yugoslavian boatyard. And he was here, he stood here, and then he was thinking, let's create the most beautiful super yacht marina in the Mediterranean. And I believe he did. And he got uh, support or he got investors. Uh, one is Bernard Arnault, founder and owner of uh, Louis Vuitton and Moet et Hennessy. That's how it all started. And you can see there's the old submarine is still here. And here at the back, they are still building because they started with uh, phase one over there. And in 2016, they sold the whole project to the Corporate Investment Fund of Dubai. And they are expanding now. So they, what I heard is they expanded with another project and that's what's gonna build over there. It's called Boca Place. And it will open, what I just saw in uh, 2023. And they invested another 500 million euros into this complete project. And yeah, so when you feel here is the entrepreneurial spirit. Here everything is, is going, it's building, it's, it's moving. So great to, to, to walk here and to see what everything was, was happening. And over there, there is the Yacht Club, the Porto Montenegro Yacht Club. I haven't been inside yet because I don't think it's open because it's still early in the season and I, maybe in May they will open. But there is a big swimming pool, they have a rowing boats, they have small G70s uh, sailing boats so we can sail here up into the bay. So when Rihanna is not feeling well, then I can still sail here in the bay. So that's gonna be cool. And they have a big gym over here. They have places for Benjamin to play. Uh, a complete calendar with activities for, uh, during the whole season. And um, so what I like about here is that it's a combination of modern architecture with classic lines. And they combine, let's say the, the village the old village together with the new village Puerto Montenegro. So it's, it's kind of blending in. So what to do? Um, yeah, I'm so excited to be here and I invited a lot of business partners, former business partners of mine, so they are coming over here. And I just don't know exactly what will happen, but I have that feeling that something will happen. And I met a lot of interesting people already here, also a Dutch investment fund in Whiskey. I was just walking around with Benjamin and he just hit uh, one of the guys with his bike and uh, we got in contact we figured out we were dutch of course um, and they just opened their office over here um, so it could be something in in investment funds or real estate or hospitality or yachting or even maybe a new technology startup so the opportunities are here and i i have the feeling that 
it will something will happen here and, and we will start something yeah so it's, it's a very interesting time now with Brianna being pregnant uh, Benjamin is going to school so in the morning we have a little bit of free time for ourselves to get everything up and running so Puerto Montenegro is treating us well uh, it's a pleasure to be here and yeah I'm looking forward to keep you updated about all my uh, business adventures over here so let's see but first let's have some proper uh, breakfast with Brianna So let's make breakfast for Rihanna. Luckily she's feeling a little bit better every day, getting more productive and it really changed the world for us. So bringing Benjamin to school, when we bring him he's kind of crying but when we take him then he is, uh, he's very happy and we get a lot of uh, videos from the, from the teacher that he's enjoying and playing with the other kids. And of course it's not easy because everything is in a different country, a uh, different language, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's see if Brianna is awake. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. I'm not uh, prepared for filming. <laughs> You're not prepared for filming? No. Okay, so I should make some breakfast for you. Yeah, so very excited to um, the new endeavors that we're gonna find over here in Montenegro. Yeah, but now with your newfound, renewed energy, I think. Wow! <laughs> would Benjamin say? <laughs> this morning was quite funny. What he? I think he he read a book yesterday, and it was about a wolf, and he was saying, "Oh!" Yeah. He was yeah. howling. <laughs> so we were howling together. So business adventures. Business adventures. And I just heard the news about the um, co-founder of Ethereum, the cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. um, he got um, a passport. Citizenship. Citizenship here in Montenegro. So yeah. they are moving towards cryptocurrency. They want to become yeah. the crypto hotspot of... Uh, For European continent. They have to beat Portugal. They have um, a few steps in front of them, I think. Yeah, but at least they are trying, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Let's see. A lot, a lot of reasons to stay in Montenegro, or at least have our uh, residency here. Yeah. 